Welcome back. Host an event at the museum. National Museum of Nuclear Science and History Museum tells the story of the atomic age through exhibits, displays, and stories. However, what you might not know is the museum is also the perfect spot for your next event. They host many events like weddings, business dinners, life celebrations, and more. We're joined this morning by the Executive Director at the National Museum of Nuclear Science and History, Jennifer Hayden. Jennifer, good morning. Thank you for having me. Welcome back. Always a pleasure. What kind of events can be hosted at the museum? So people are always a little bit surprised that you can have an event at a nuclear museum. But we have had events such as weddings, um, meetings, like a daytime office type meeting. You can definitely do things like that. Evening events. So receptions, whether it's a seated dinner for or maybe 100 to 130 or you had more of a reception style with the tall boy tables right. and it was maybe 400 guests at the museum wow. there's something for everybody but the one that really throws people is that you can have a wedding at the museum so <laughs> big, <laughs> so big crowds are welcome very much so we have heritage park which is our nine mm -hmm. nine acre outdoor exhibit area as well so even with that you can rent a tent you can do all kinds of things just to welcome as many people as possible to the museum. Now, why should groups plan to tour the museum with one of the volunteer guides first? Oh my goodness, there is just so much to learn. If you want to really see the museum, get a little bit better feel, look at the artifacts, having a docent do that is really fun and engaging and it's included within the cost of the facility rental. So definitely capitalize on that. And you guys obviously have camps for kiddos all summer long and different times of the year. Yes. We have activities. Yes, and that's why we're on this side yes. of the little <laughs> For the first it's time. It's different, yeah. yes. So what we have is something, a stomp rocket. Okay. So something very, very fun. What we have is a two liter, just Coke bottle. We have a PVC pipe and then tubing. Okay. So we have taped, lots and lots of duct tape to put that together so the air that's inside the bottle mm -hmm. will go through the tube, through the PVC pipe, and into the rocket that we made. This is such a cute little <laughs> rocket, too. How sweet well, is and this? that's something that I brought the, you just have a piece of construction okay. paper and the piece of PVC pipe, and you do it to where it fits on top of the pipe. Because what that is going sure. to do, this is going to fit on top of it, so you want it to go on there. Then we have just kind of a little half moon shape, and you tape it together when you fold it it makes the little top of the rocket of course and we put little you know little fins on it as well just to make it very official so what we are going to do is we are going to place that on the pipe. It, yes. Okay. So right about there. I'm gonna hold it and do you want to do the stomping? I'll do the stomping. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So it's Hopefully not I like a, we tell the kiddos it's not a jump rocket just stomp on it. So okay. And we'll aim are we ready? That way, yes. Oh. We're gonna aim at Eli. We are. Okay. Oh, oh, no. Oh, oh it, no. Didn't. <laughs> it worked yesterday. Let's try it one more time. One okay. more time, okay. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna blow in to make it get bigger. Okay. There we okay. go. Okay, so we're gonna do it one more time. And let's see. Hopefully. Hopefully. Okay. Oh, it moved a there little. There was a little bit of movement <laughs> at the top. Generally speaking, it has been sitting in my car all night since okay. the museum, and maybe it became a little bit loose. But in theory, it did. It does generally work. You can just keep going over and over it until it works. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Jen, where can we go for more information on the Nuclear Museum and if they want to host an event? Yes, everything is at nuclearmuseum.org, um, and you can look under events, you can look under camps, just everything is online. Okay, perfect. Thanks again so much for being here this morning. Now, for a full recap of the entire interview, you can head to our website. That's always on krqe.com. Stay with us. We'll have more after the break.